inventions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the subscriber contracts. And today's contract, net zero, set in Dartmoor. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a crack at it and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of Paul Anderson 37. So moving on to our briefing, 47 has taken up cycling. However, the staff aren't allowing him to keep his bike on the property whilst he is working. This is resulting in him having to use his motorbike, which is bad for the environment and isn't helping with his cholesterol. So moving on to our targets, and today we have five of them. All must be eliminated whilst disguised as the mansion staff. One via injected poison, one via falling object, one via electrocution, one via explosion, and one via consumed poison. So for today's challenge, we'll be starting as the mansion staff. We're going to have a lethal syringe stored up in the library, and we'll be bringing with us our ever trusty lockpick, a remote micro taser, and our silenced pistol. So right from the start and off the bat, we are going to retrieve our lethal syringe and then we're going to head into the entrance hall balcony area and out onto the balcony and we're going to head up the drain pipe to Alexa Carlisle's bedroom and up here we have one target who is the housekeeping staff member in Alexa's bedroom, there he is and he is the electrocution elimination so we're going to make our way past him while he has his back to us into the bathroom and once we're by the sink we're going to drop our taser on the floor overflow the sink and then turn on the gramophone as the sink will not attract any attention so all we have to do now is hide ourselves away somewhere as he is an enforcer and he will get distracted by the gramophone and when he comes in to turn that off uh, he will then be distracted by the sink and once he approaches the sink we can go into action by clicking a button the wonders of modern technology so he has now turned off the gramophone, he's being distracted by the overflowing sink, he's making his way to said sink, I'm going to let him turn off the water and then I'm going to trigger the taser and he is going to have a very shocking experience. So with our first target taken care of, we're going to make our way back out the way we came and back down the drain pipe to the lower floor where we will encounter our next target who is just beyond the library. We're just going to wait for the patrolling enforcer to go past and we can make our way through and into the library and just below us in the billiard room we find Patrick Carlyle currently trying to chat up one of the maids so we're just going to pull out our silenced pistol I'm going to line up my shot here with the chandelier as Mr Carlyle is a falling object elimination and at some point Mr Fernsby will come into the room distract Patrick and he will move under the chandelier and at that point we can just drop it on his head. We're then going to select our lethal syringe, make our way out into the corridor and distract the flirting couple and when the young lady, our target, gets into position 
to start sweeping the floor we can jab her in the back with our lethal syringe and we now have three targets taken care of so we have just two more targets to go one of which is an explosion kill and one of which is a poison kill so we're going to make our way now to the uh, Mr. Fernsby's office and we're going to retrieve some lethal poison and then we will retrieve a propane cylinder from the kitchen. So we're just going to lockpick our way into Fernsby's office, grab the poison here and then we're going to make our way around to the living quarters and we are still experiencing a few of the glitches and the time skips uh, apparently I've not quite dealt with the problem I am still looking into trying to solve it but we will get there in the end so once we've poisoned the dish in the living room we're gonna make our way to the kitchen retrieve the propane cylinder and then return to the entrance hall and currently our two targets are in attendance along with Madame Carlyle and her bodyguard. So once everybody has moved away, we are going to enter into the entrance hall and we're going to place a propane cylinder on the floor somewhere around here. And that looks a little too close to the guard, so maybe behind us. So if we place the cylinder just behind us here, about there will do that should be far enough away from the guards our two targets Mr. Whitmer and Mr. Fernsby are just finishing up their conversation so while they're doing that we're going to put one bullet in the propane cylinder from the corridor here that will get the guards attention one of them will go over to investigate which he is now doing uh, Mr. Fernsby and Mr. Whitmer have just finished their conversation as you can see Mr. Whitmer is going to go into the living room and in a moment will sample the food we have poisoned So we have plenty of time we can just follow him into the room once Fernsby has returned to his usual routine and once Mr. Whitmer has lost interest in the coffee table he will make his way over to the dining table and he will sample the goodies. So that's four targets now taken care of. All that's left for us to do is to deal with Mr. Fernsby. Now he has just made his way upstairs to engage in a conversation with Madame Carlyle. Once that conversation has played out, he will return to this area and part of his routine will be to stand right by that propane cylinder. Uh, that also gives the guard time to remove the body from the living room so we don't have to worry about being spotted when we blow up the propane cylinder and then we're just going to use instinct quite heavily and we're gonna make our way out of the side of the building grabbing the hearse keys along the way and we will take the hearse as our exit so there we go one more subscriber contract taken care of and we get confirmation all of our targets have been eliminated according to plan and that will gain us our silent assassin rating I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.